What if I told you that there is a way to shoot your enemies through walls with any weapon without having to see them on your screen or without them being able to see you on their screen without getting banned? Get back. What? Man, that was a vicious voice crack. But no way, yes way, this concept of fighting in Valorant is overlooked and you do not use this method when fighting enough. I know because you're still stuck in your rank. The best way to rank up in Valorant is to have superior skills in gunfights. I am going to teach you one of the best skills to have in a gunfight even if you have bad aim, which side note, you really need to work on this. If you're familiar with my coaching, you'd know how much I preach the importance of fighting close to cover. I mean, why take a 50-50 fight when we would just take fights like this? Sip. One enemy remaining. Last one, water. So, let's start taking fights like this, but with a twist. Try doing what Zito did in the first clip that I showed you. Peek an angle with full confidence. Wide swing enough to where you can see the enemy, take a shot, and then come back into cover to where you can shoot the enemy through the paper corner, which is pretty much every corner in Valorant maps. By doing this, we are 1. Being incredibly hard to kill with our quick movements. 2. Limiting the chances of us dying since we are basically using the corner, which blocks the enemy's vision and three getting a really cool clip to post in the showcase clip channel in my discord server which the link can be found down below in the description now obviously the enemy can shoot us back but since we are the aggressors in this situation we will be able to react first when we swing we want to take a shot before going into cover since that is where the enemy will be taking his shots once the enemy has reacted on where we were, we will already be back behind the corner spraying them through the wall. So essentially with this method of fighting, we are always one step ahead of the enemy. Now the main question is, when should we use this method of fighting? I mean, it's not like we can use it every single time, right? Well yeah, you're right. We can't use it every single time since it doesn't work for every situation. It only works when we are close to a corner, as you see on your screen. If we are far away from an angle like this, it does not work. Or if we are fighting from market on ascent and we are fighting an enemy who is top mid, this will obviously not work. The enemy is way too far and the chances of our bullets hitting them are very slim. This method of fighting works best and pretty much only works when we are close to cover, but also if the enemy is close to us as well. I would say the maximum distance an enemy can be for this to work is 15 meters, being the absolute maximum. You may be able to get away with further fights from time to time, but I would not risk it in an actual rank match. At that point, you are better off just aim diffing the guy and swinging him. And again, in order to aim diff the dude, bro, you gotta aim train. One thing you should keep in mind is that since we are shooting through the wall, our bullets will not have the same damage impact as if we were face to face with the enemy. So with this being said, make sure to full on spray through the wall rather than tapping or bursting. We want to hit the enemy with as many bullets as possible to secure the kill. Also, I was not lying earlier when I said that you can do this with almost every weapon in the game. Obviously, it wouldn't be smart to try doing this with the shotguns or snipers in the game, but you can literally do this with all pistols except for the shorty, all SMGs, all LMGs, and all rifles. Now, since I'm just an amazingly cool coach, here are some of my favorite spots to use this fighting cheat code in. Now, before you go, in this channel, I talk a lot about fighting, and if you suck at fighting and are tired of sucking at fighting, pay attention. 
Tracker is great, but it lacks a lot of detail. If you want more in-depth stats to truly help you improve, use the Guides Insight application. You are able to get insanely in-depth stats about your gameplay and the app interprets the stats for you. You can see what your strengths and weaknesses are easily compare which agents you are performing best on and it also refers to you high quality coaching videos to help you improve your stats depending on which ones you are struggling with sign up for the closed beta today details can be found below in the description but that's all that I have for you all today but if you seriously want to stop sucking at fighting in Valorant I would recommend watching my immortal turning between video next where I will show you an amazing warm up to perform every day to develop immortal like mechanics please like the video and well deuce deuce everyone